guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to put a quick video together on how I made one of these light bars. Now I'm using this for my boat. It's going to go underneath the gunnels on either side and in the front under the um, driver's seat. Um, but you can use this for lighting for um, camera work or you could have it under your desk. Um, there's multiple ways you can use this. Um, I'm going to go into detail on how I actually did this uh, and all the items you're going to need. It's actually pretty minimum and pretty easy to make one of these. Uh, it's uh, really versatile um, depending on what you want to use it. And with this clear plastic, it actually protects it if it does get in the elements. So like when this is in my boat, it will be protected. Um, so let's get into it and uh, start building one. All right, so the material we need for this build is obviously your LED strip. Now I got 16 and a half feet here and that did me about four feet, just under four feet. But just for reference, 16 and a half feet got me four feet through. Uh, you obviously want the sticky back. Some of the sticky back that comes with it kind of Kind of sucks, so you might want to rip that off and put your own, go out and buy some. Next, you're going to need the clear tube itself. I was going to use a thicker acrylic tube, but I found that was like $60 for a one inch by four feet long piece. So what I've got here is a four foot T12 fluorescent tube. Um, this is just basically slides over that fluorescent tube for your light um, and it protects it. Now this was $4, so that's why I went that route. Moving on, um, you're gonna want to get three quarter inch wooden dowel. So that's what the LED strip's actually gonna wrap around. And with the T12 protective sleeve here, um, I found that one inch PVC caps fit perfectly in the back here. So that's what we're going to be using for the to cap the ends off. And you're also going to need some screws. This is just a one inch screw. So that's basically all you really need for the material. For the tools, you're going to need a hot glue gun. You might need a soldering iron depending on what you're doing. And that's basically it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do here is start wrapping this LED um, strip around the wooden dowel. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut this end off, this connector here, you can see that. So I'm, I'm gonna cut that off there and then I'm gonna solder my um, new wire in that's gonna go to a switch in my boat. If you're just using this for a light bar, you can probably leave that on, that way you can just plug and play. That's that. So what you're gonna wanna do is figure out what kind of style of wrapping you're Originally, I was going to leave a three quarter inch gap between the wraps so it's more spiral. But then I realized I can get more LEDs if I go um, wrap it almost touching um, side by side. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. So, as you can see here, you might need to stand up for this, so I might have to turn the camera off. But uh, you're just going to want to start that width so it's hanging off the end here so and then all you do is just peel your inside tape back and start rolling it around as soon as you get a few wraps it's a uh, pretty easy it kind of just almost falls into place and make sure with some of this double-sided tape it actually is pressure activated so make sure you're kind of pulling tight and wrapping it and kind of pushing it on that way it will activate that double-sided tape There you go, so that's all wrapped there. And as you can see, I'm a little bit short of four feet here. So if you gap that out, um, you can easily make that up. So that's that. Now, as you can see, I got my whip off the end here, got the whip off the end here, and then I got a whip off the end here. 
So now if you wanted to connect a few of these together, um, what you can do is poke the, this end out the cap as well as this. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna hot glue. Any joint you have to solder, put hot glue over the solder just to protect it. And also what I was gonna do is hot glue the ends just so they don't unravel. And then I'll, I'll pick a few random spots in, in between the bar itself and uh, just hot glue that just so they don't unravel while it's in the tube. So once we have the dowel wrapped with the LEDs and we have the both ends hot glued and just any other spots you feel like might come undone um, hot glued, we're gonna wanna make sure everything works. Cause if you run into the problem I just had and I didn't check and I put it all together, well only half the strips will be going. So let's plug that in just to verify everything's working. And it is. So we're ready to go to the next step. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold it up to the end, kind of where the LEDs end, and I'm gonna mark where I wanna cut that. So it's gonna be the end of this tube. All right, so once we got this cut down, we are ready to start putting it all together. So the first step we're gonna do in this process is drill two holes in the bottom of the caps. Now this is just gonna be a pilot hole for the screw that we're gonna put in. And we're also gonna put a hole in either end of the dowel just so when we're putting the screw in kind of it'll self-center and it won't crack the dowel so i'm just using an eighth drill bit for that and i believe this is a number 10 um pan head screw wood screw all i'm gonna do here is find center drill in ream it out a bit and there you go so the cap that's going to have the wire through it, um, what you're going to want to do is actually drill it to the side on the top. You don't want to drill it out the side because when you slide it all together, it's probably going to interfere with the sleeve. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it upside down now, put the drill bit on the edge of the cap itself, and then I'm just going to start drilling. So now I've got a nice clean hole right on the edge and uh, I'll step that up so my wire can fit through and then we'll uh, put it together. Now that that's all done, we can start by putting the first cap on and then we can size up our tube and cut it down if we need to. So I'm just going to get this screw started here, kind of thread the piece. Because this is gonna be in my boat, I'm gonna put silicone on uh, the screw itself. And that way, um, hopefully, it will make it more uh, water resistant. So once we got that one end on, we can now size up our tube. So I'm gonna have to so I will transfer that through, cut that, and then we can slide that on and then put that cap on and uh, we're good to go. There we go. So now we're ready to slide this all down. There we go. Just like that. And that's basically it for this build. It's quick and easy. I was doing it anyway, so I thought I'd just put a quick video together because I'm sure some of you would be interested. Leave a comment below letting me know if you're actually making one of these and what you're using it for because I'm definitely interested. So I hope you guys learned a thing or two. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Um, I know I haven't really put that many videos out lately, but uh, it's the end of summer now, so I got a lot more time on my hands since the, the winter's coming, so I'm going to have a lot of videos I need to edit. And I got a few builds on the horizon, so make sure you subscribe and uh, watch out for those ones. So, thanks for watching guys.